Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drone. So, I just wanted to get this up. This is going to appear sometime over Christmas. You're probably going to be watching this, but it's actually Christmas Eve and I've got a break in the weather today. So, it's a nice sunny winter's day. There's about three mile an hour wind, so I had a chance to fly the X7. So, let me start off by giving you the things that I really love about it. It flies unbelievably nicely. It's very smooth in the air. The hovers are decent on it. You'll see that from the video at the end. It's precise. The controller feels fantastic. You'll have seen I did uh, a Z, the Xeno recently, the Hubs and Xeno, and I said the resolution on the stick for the Pauline, this is a million times better. This controller's resolution on the sticks is so much better than the Xeno. Why? I do not know, but this thing's so much more precise. I'm not saying it's a better drone, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that for money, but I'm saying the sticks are that good on it. So, the controller's fantastic, the camera looks sharp. The motors feel fan seem fantastic, it's very very smooth in the air and it is quite fast. It records to the SD card, I had no problem with it recording, the video recorded. It will ask you to format the SD card when you put it in. Now a lot of drones have started doing that, so if you're taking this out of another quad and you're using it on another quad, make sure you've got the footage off that SD card before you take it out, because it's going to format over the top of it. The props seem good, they seem quite well balanced, it doesn't seem to have um, a lot of vibration, it doesn't wander around in the air, and like I said, it flies nice, it's very precise in its turn, you get the cheaper GPS drones all do the same, when you're coming in hard, and you're coming in fast, and you turn, you're going to get a bit of wobble in the air, they're all going to do that, this is not a DJI drone, and like I said, the controller's fantastic, I love everything about this controller, it's light, and that's the only thing that I would say about it. It feels light and it feels a bit cheap in your hand, but the thing's amazingly good. Flies fantastically well in altitude home mode as well as GPS. It found a GPS lock very, very quickly. The auto takeoff and hand works fantastic. I haven't tried a return to home. I'll do that on another video and I haven't tried any of the features or a range test. This was just a quick flight outside just to get you some footage up so you can see what it's like if you were thinking about buying one. So let's go to the bad points, because there are some. Two of them are quite major. So the first one is the app. So let me just show you the app. So th this is the iPhone app. I'll just go into the app itself, because I don't need to have it connected up. Just find it. Enjoy Fly, it's called. So we go into the app. And if you just look at this app, there in my general settings, can you see where it says voltage etc? And then it says calibrate compass, gyro calibration, pair etc. Okay, now I'm just going to show you the Android app. I'm sure I've got it on this one. So iPhone app. Uh, interface view. Let me just show you this quick because it's very important that you know this. Can you spot the difference on the app? One's got a low power alarm, one hasn't. Can you see it? Okay, this must have been the older version of the app. This is the newer version of the app. The problem on this one is, see where it says calibrate compass? It does nothing. On this one, it lets you calibrate the compass. That one just goes into endless loop and does nothing. So in other words, you can't calibrate your compass on the iOS phone. Which means, in essence, you can't fly it out of the box. You can fly it on this. So, all being great, but not really, because on this, on the Apple one, the battery meter works fine. So it'll tell you how much is in your battery, and it looks pretty accurate. On this one, on the, on the Android phone, the battery meter doesn't work. So between them... You've thought I've got something that works. I don't know it's probably a bug and I know that something haven't fixed it, but it's 2000, nearly 2019. You don't release a drone with a software being that garbage. So you can't fly it with an iPhone, you can fly it with this. The second problem is probably the biggest, is one of the biggest ones, maybe the biggest. So remember what I told you, they'd made a really good effort to stop this from having any kind of jello. And they did, there's no jello on the video you're gonna see. Problem is, as soon as it has any kind of wind, Look what it does. So that's what your video looks like. 
so they've gone far too far so the suggestion is they've gone this far because it's the only way they could stop the jello or they just haven't bothered I think they've probably gone this far because it's got that much jello so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this gimbal off I'm going to repack this and try and make it tighter to try and get the video footage for the next video you see better than it is you're going to see the video looks quite sharp but it's going to have this much shake in it all the time 3 mile an hour winds is enough to do that especially when you're flying it through the air and that's what your video looks like so even when you're steady because this thing isn't a DJI so you're going to get some kind of little bit of drift like this when you're in GPS mode that's going to do that because you're in the wind now, I have seen the video of this flying a quadcopter 101 flow it in the desert fine it probably will do there's no wind whatsoever and in no wind it might not do this but in the, this is the UK we have wind all the time so for these reasons I can't recommend this drone as much as I think it's a fantastic drone for me I'll keep it because it's just ace to throw around it goes quick I can chuck it around in the air and I can have some fun with it if I can do something with the camera I will do because I'm going to put it up on the next video what I've done to it and it might make it better but at the minute as a camera drone I couldn't recommend it against other stuff because the Bugs 5W is more stable it's the same money for the drone the 2 SEs not much more money and in my opinion well it is a better camera so there's so much more around for the kind of price point as this that I couldn't recommend this drone as harsh as it is for me to say because I absolutely love the thing I think it's fantastic but I think they put so much effort into that to get it to fly nice that they haven't bothered with the camera or the apps not being able to fly it on iOS is pretty bad this has got the latest firmware on it's an iOS 7 plus it's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with the app this tells me there's no updates I've got the latest version on the Android I've got it but I've got no kind of uh, battery voltage GPS drone you need that so I'm going to leave you with the video coming up and I will have another video it's probably this is going to be well after Christmas now but you can have another video I'll do some of the test modes but the first majority of the test will be to see if I can take this some of this play out of here and make it a little bit tighter you're not going to get perfect video I'm not I don't say for one minute you're not it's not got a gimbal but you should get much better than what you're going to see the thing just shakes that bad it's untrue but there's no jello and you they sacrifice one for the other in my opinion so I hope you had a great Christmas day and Boxing Day and I shall see you again shortly thanks ever so much for watching you've been great bye bye so as you can see from the video there's an awful lot of shake in the camera in reference to the gimbal that I showed you earlier but it does look quite sharp if you could just pause that image I've put a couple of clips in that you're going to see uh, photos that in between this where it's got stills and you can see that the camera quality is decent they just need to get it right like I say in the next video I will try and stabilize that gimbal by making it tighter on its mount and hopefully it will take away some of that I hope you can also see how stable it looks in the inset footage taken from the GoPro because it is a stable drone. It flies amazing and it is such a shame that I can't recommend it. But hey ho, this is how it goes.